Around three months ago, Israel revoked a travel warning to Egypt's Sinai province, leading to a significant rise in the number of visitors there from Israel. I-24 News correspondent Omar Rabia has published the events that prompted the Israelis to ease that travel warning. It had been in place for well over a decade. To talk more about that, we're joined in the studio by our Middle East correspondent, Alec Pollard. So, Alec, take us back. Why was this travel warning put in place in the first place? Right, so the travel warning had been in place for years because of the presence of um, Bedouin tribes in northern Sinai affiliated with ISIS, with the Islamic State. And although there is a very significant Egyptian army security presence in the southern part of Sinai, the resort part where Israelis travel to, we're talking about Nueva, Dahab, Sharm el Sheikh, Taba, still the fact that not so far away you have these uh, very uh, fundamentalist Islamic elements um, present there was the reason that uh, Israeli uh, authorities and intelligence placed the travel warning in Sinai, uh, even though it's not that easy for uh, those elements to get to the southern part, uh, they felt that it was uh, prudent to have that travel warning. Now, what's happened here is uh, thanks to this uh, revelation by our uh, Arabic Channel correspondent Omar Rabia from an intelligence officer in the IDF who uh, disclosed some information, which was that some of those ISIS affiliated tribes in the northern part of Sinai attacked other tribes. Uh, uh, northern or more central part, the more southern part of the area uh, that is uh, not under complete control of the Egyptian military and actually ended up uh, sort of losing that battle and causing those non-ISIS tribes to form a closer alliance with the Egyptian military and push back those ISIS-supported elements further north. So they are currently further away from the resort area than what they were previously. And this is what prompted uh, the Israeli authorities to uh, revoke that travel warning because the ISIS elements are now much further away than what they were so previously. So the problem has kind of solved itself, uh, as it were. So is it now safe then for Israelis to go to Sinai? Well, even beforehand, when the travel warning was in place, there were no uh, attacks against Israelis in Sinai. There were far more terror attacks inside Israel than in Sinai. So a lot of people were traveling were saying it's safer in Sinai than in Israel with everything that's been going on. But uh, certainly now it seems to be even more safe. And there is also a very close security coordination and a military and intelligence coordination between the Egyptian army and the Israeli army on that front. Okay, and of course Israel has peace with Egypt, Israel also has peace with Jordan, and we're hearing that Israel's president Isaac Herzog has been visiting the king, Abdullah in Amman. What do we know about that? Right, so uh, this was uh, a meeting that kind of uh, nobody really knew was going to take place and did take place, um, basically ahead of the visit of President Joe Biden in the region. We're seeing a flurry of diplomatic activity on all kinds of directions between all kinds of different representatives, uh, and that includes Herzog and King Abdallah. It should be noted that also there was that meeting of the steering committee of the Negev summit that took place in Bahrain with the countries that Israel has normalized relations with all the countries except for Jordan. Jordan is the only one that's not in that club. Uh, huge sensitivities due to the Palestinian issue, Palestinian majority population in Jordan. So Jordan kind of does to a certain extent uh, need to keep its distance from Israel because of the internal political situation there. But uh, still, uh, it seems like uh, Herzog has cultivated a decent relationship, a good relationship even with King Abdallah and Herzog is a key player maybe moving forward on the diplomatic front with Israel not having a government uh, moving forward or an interim government. Herzog uh, could be uh, sort of that uh, diplomatic presence and sort of neutral uh, face and voice of the state of Israel who can really help to kind of keep good relations with Jordan, a very, very important player in the region in the coming months, maybe years if these election cycles continue to uh, plague Israel in the future.